Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to another mould review. I'll run through like I normally do. To start off with, this is a mould from Diorama Debris. It's a rubber silicon mould. It's in 1 16th and it's a 5 inch curb stone. Now the mould number is 116-0039. We, it is produced in the UK by RJ Norris. Right, we've done that bit we'll get the mould out. Now this is the curve stone and it is a big mould, extremely big big mould where you can see my finger there, it is big. Right, kick off with what do we get? Uh, I have actually got a list here of the sizes, uh, we get two off 38mm, uh, I would say that's the 38mm, then we get two off of 39.5 mil by 8 mil wide, 12 mil high. Then we get another two off of 51.5 mil. That's 8 mil by 12 mil. So you get two of them, and also you get four of the 60, uh, well, 62 mil, 8 mil by 12 mil high. So we get the four down the bottom here. We get the uh, one radius, which is textured on both sides so you can do inside or outside radius no problems and we also get a very large cheese now detail wise you can't see nothing in there and you really can't even if I was to really move it at different angles but I know there's a lot of texturing in there because I can actually feel it and it's the same with the, the moulds from Diorama Debris you don't get to see the detail until you start casting so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off, I'm going to get some of these cast, and then I'll be back and we'll have a good look at them. Now I've been casting, as you can see. Now I've cast off these monster curb edgings, and I will say monster because in the front there we have some 135th scale, and these ones absolutely dwarf them ones. Uh, what can I say about the mould? no problems at all with the mould normal issues with a brand new mould uh, first cast air trapped and that is normally caused by the silicon powder that they put on the mould even though you wash it you never get the first cast air free second cast all, all gone so we didn't have no air trapped and every cast after that is no problem at all the materials I actually used was 70 grams of Herculite 2 which is quite a lot because this is a big mould 35 mils of water and three half teaspoonfuls of black dye uh, to actually get the colour uh, no problems over casting them no problems over getting them out they came out extremely easy uh, my views on the actual mould itself is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good, very, very good mould. As you can see by the parts, extremely well detailed. There, is, you've got detailing on all sides except for the bottom. You've got nice texturing. They all fit together nicely. No issues over that. I've tried a lot of them. I haven't put them together here because at the end of the day I keep on ending up with loads and loads of bits that I've glued together and I waste quite a bit of material so I've decided I'm just going to show you the whole lot in its entirety. The radius is uh, detailed both sides so you can use it as an in and out. The cheese is well detailed as well. Me personally, I don't like the cheese. I feel it's a little bit too modern uh, item. I do prefer the radiuses, but everyone's their own choice. Besides that, that is about as much as I can say and tell you about this, except for they are a very, very nice, it's a very nice part that comes out of it. Uh, applications, well, there's only going to be a few applications for it. You will be able to just use it for your curbs. You might get away with using them as lintels in other builds, but you'll you'd have to weigh that up and uh, see if it's going to sit right. Besides that, that is it. So 
all I can do now is say thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we will see you on the next one. Thank you.